Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Horasis Visions community, I welcome you to the Horasis Extraordinary Meeting on the United States of America. I'm joined by Bo Inge Anderson, President of Yasaki in North America, South America, Europe and Africa. Yasaki is acting as strategic partner of the event. I will call on him in a minute. Under the theme Rebuilding Trust, 1,000 of the most senior members of the Horasis Visions community are offered the opportunity to shape America's and the world's agenda. Participants will explore ways to overcome the profound economic, political and social disruptions caused by COVID-19. The United States of America inaugurated its new president at an important moment of world history. The COVID-19 pandemic and its second order effects will be shaping the globe for the near-term future, demanding decisive management globally. Social division is at a critical point in the US, and geopolitical instability demands a reset of US foreign policy. Furthermore, we face an existential climate crisis and extreme wealth inequality. We are going to discuss how the US can promote inclusivity as well as gender equality how to kickstart the global economy and simultaneously advance reform, how to tackle the lingering climate crisis with a Green New Deal, and how the US can provide leadership in an emerging multilateral world. With the Horace's extraordinary meeting, we want to offer the conceptual backbone and action platform to advance the recovery, envisioning and implementing novel business models, new political cooperation, and deep social cohesion. We are convinced that the US and the world will not go back to a new normal using a simplistic resetting of legacy systems. We need to unite global stakeholders to inspire in order to create original and innovative solutions in the face of continuous turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure to call on Boeing Anderson of Yasaki. Yasaki is one of the world's last largest automotive suppliers. Bo, the floor is yours. Thank you, Frank. I also would like to welcome all of you to this U.S. Horasis event. While I wish we could have hosted it in person here in U.S., where our economic momentum is strong, consumer confidence is extremely high, and I'm pleased to know that this is the largest event in the Horasis history with more than 1,000 global speakers. Frank, that would not have been possible without your vision and your strong execution. What you have done here is to bring the world together is truly remarkable. The United States is emerging from this pandemic as a clear winner, in my view, with vaccines being broadly distributed in all 50 states, trillions of dollars being pumped into the economy, consumer spending growing rapidly, our economists are forecasting 6% GDP growth for 2021. Americans support rebuilding the nation's falling infrastructure, highways, bridges, sewers, water systems, utilities, and digital communication. When funded, it will drive significant economic growth. Yasaki is one of the largest automotive suppliers in the world, and we are a private company. We manufacture electrical distribution systems, components, electronics, instrumentation, and high voltage systems. To put things in perspective, there is a Yasaki part in one of three combustion engine vehicles, one in two hybrids, and one in two fully electric vehicles built in the world every day. Boeing Anderson, thank you very much for your enlightening words. As you said, Boeing, the problems we are currently facing are global, but the responses are fragmented. What we need is strong and enlightening and inspiring leadership. In you, Boeing, you are exemplifying the very needed leadership uh, in this world. As you are in charge of more than 150,000 people worldwide as Yasaki, leading the company to new crowns and pivoting the business model. Multilateralism is a way to go. We need to include into the multilateral system the voice and the influence of the business community and the civil society. 
in all those other stakeholders that are essential to shape the future of the world. I'm now inviting you to join the opening plenary. Thank you very much.